This video is sponsored by Audible. Stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can get three months of membership for just 99 pence. Hello and welcome back to Let's Go. And today we are gonna be unboxing the Echo Show third generation. And this is the one that actually is meant to follow you around the room. So we're gonna go ahead and open it and uh, set it up and see how it reacts. So it actually came in a box just like this, which is actually very fitting to this one but we're gonna get rid of that one. And it also came with a strap, which I've already broken off. So this comes with a rotating screen with manual tilt. It's a 10 inch touch screen, and it also has adaptive color. Standard 30 watt plug with their standard connector on there. A 13 megapixel camera built in as well, and it also has a cover on there apparently. Uh, two tweeters and a woofer. I'm waiting for the woof. <laughs> uh, a Zigbee smart home hub, which is already built into this. So if you have any Zigbee devices, a lot of the lights that you're seeing in the background here are running off of the Zigbee hubs. So we can actually probably get rid of one or two of those, I, I guess. We will uh, see about that later. Bluetooth, like many of the other ones that come with it, hands-free. The microphone with a camera on and off button. So it comes with a camera on and off button and a built-in cover. So that's interesting. We've already got the plug out. That's actually quite nice. It's a, a nice matte finish on the plug. I think all the other ones are actually uh, shiny. Okay, so going a little bit further deeper, we come with the, uh, the standard how to set up. Apparently it's a three stage setup, which is meant to be really easy, just like the other the other echoes that are out there. This is kind of interesting. What's this? It comes with this uh, circly thing, uh, which has got some written information on there. Uh, keep space clear of objects. Uh, if placed near a wall, run device mapping sequence. We'll figure that out later. And then it's got a picture of it where it's a little bit away from the wall, plugged in with a tick. Considering that this is meant to be 99% recycled materials in the, in the packaging and the actual device itself, I'm pretty sure this is a bit of a waste of those materials. So well done Amazon on that one, which is gonna go in the bin. And then you've got your important information that most people won't read either. So let's go on over there. We're gonna pull out the device itself and we've got inside the box there, a nice little holder for it. Nothing else in there. It's just the base and the, the actual cardboard box. So we're gonna pull that to the side. So we've got the, um, the device here itself. This is actually quite a heavy bit of kit. Um, it was quite surprising though, like it, it spins freely on the base and uh, oh, there's your tilting function. That is a manual tilt, but apparently it does follow you around as well. So when we get that plugged in, it should engage the motor and follow you. Bit of plastic on the bottom there. Oh, we love plastic. Not. What, why do they need to put plastic there? You know, they could have easily put the material that they put here on there. But anywho. Let's go on to the next bit. It's got a like a rubber, rubbery base on the bottom there. And it looks like you can actually hide a lot of the cables under there as well. And now I've taken the plastic off. It doesn't move around a lot, but it, you know, if, if kids are playing with that, they're still gonna be able to wobble that. So the, it, it is the charcoal fabric. I've noticed as well, it, it does have a 360 degree pivot, but it, it locks out at both sides. So it's like, if we go round like that, it, it's locking out. So it's not quite 360, I'd say 345 degree angle that it will, it will pivot round and then it will lock out. So that's, that's actually quite cool. That most of the time, it's not gonna need 365 degrees. Most of the time you're gonna stick it in a corner anyway. 100% um, uh, recycled aluminium apparently and also 100% recycled fabric on there as well. So a ni nice big 10 inch screen. You can watch uh, Netflix on here. You can watch Amazon Prime, BBC. Nice and shiny. Wait until we get fingerprints on it and it's gonna probably, I don't know, actually. Yeah, 
yeah, I can see the, the, the fingerprints happening there. Uh, we've got the camera up, up on the left hand corner or right hand corner if you're facing it. And then, so when you, when you cover it over, you do have your orange uh, cover to say that it is closed, like with the other shows that you have, but then it covers it over with a white spot. Um, I, I quite like the articulation there because you, you can probably just sit at your, say you've got an island kitchen, uh, you can have it sat there, you can essentially angle it to wherever you want. And we can, we can just have this little device there, playing whatever we want, we're cooking, we don't need anything, you know, extravagant. We're going on to the, the, the three buttons at the top here, and they are pretty much standard to every Alexa device that you have. So you've got your plus and minus for volume up and down, and then you've got your, your mute for Alexa, so she doesn't talk while you're, you're actually physically saying her name. So that's essentially it, that's, that's the device. Let's boot her up and uh, see see what's, what it's like. And I've just realized what happens if I uh, twist it all the way around to the wire. And, and that's actually where the, the pivot point finishes. So that's actually quite interesting. They've, yeah. So it pivots around that wire. So that's where the cutoff point is. Okay, so it's, it's now booted up and I can actually feel resistance in the in the hub now which is a good sign that the motor's working and um, okay so we've got hello and we've got some information and we're just gonna go yes that's me okay so there's some sensitive information on the screen that we're not going to show you but this is where it prompts you on your address so we're gonna click the right one okay and now it's telling us which room is this going in. We've got kitchen, kitchen landing, living room. Okay, at this point, we're gonna name the device. So what would we like to name it? Let's name it... Kitchen Chill. That's really interesting. They've split the keyboard there so that you can basically hold it like a proper controller, I guess. Okay, so your wallpaper will per periodically change images with categories you select. So we get in illustrations, Amazon photos. Should we go for nature? Let's go for nature. Device updates ready? Of course, there's always device updates with anything. So we're going to update it. We'll be right back. We've now had the update and we booted up. So uh, Echo Show can help you monitor your home. Allow members of your household to stream this Echo. We all know that. So we're going to enable that. All set. The Echo Show will appear as a camera in your Alexa app. Go to Devices, Cameras in the app to try a live view. To customize camera features, go to Settings on the device. So, okay, done. Oh, okay. So it's, it, it looks like it centered itself there. So let's come around here. Uh, where is your Echo Show placed? This will help the... This will help set the best range of motion. So it's not in its final home at the moment, but we're going to move that later. But we'll, we'll, we'll have a play with it at the moment. So as we are on a table that we can sort of walk around, let, let's, let's put it on an island. Uh, preview how far your device will rotate as the screen moves. Make sure you can see it from different places around the room. So we're going to go preview. So I guess this is where it's, it's going to be scanning. Right, so this shows how far your device will rotate. Slide to the endpoints end if you'd like to adjust it. Uh, now use the slider to set the idle position. This is where the screen will face when not in use. So we'll just leave it in the center for the time being. All set, continue. This device is ready. Thank you very much. Where are you going? Oh, okay. So it's it's already started following uh, one person around the room, I think. Hey, up me duck. She's definitely following. So, oh, if if I say uh, Alexa, hello. So will she hello. follow? Me? Will she follow me? So, I, I I guess I don't know. Does she? It feels like it's following, but it's like not. It, it could be a little, enough. yeah, it could be a little bit smoother. It could be a little bit more reactive. Now 
now you see. She's Alexa. confused when there's two people in the room. Yeah, I was going to say, it feels like she's trying to track maybe voice rather than movement sometimes. I, like, I'm not sure. She's definitely confused when there's two of us. And you see, now, now she's not tracking. Oh, but you see, when I started talking. Okay, so you're not moving, but then it still goes back to you for some reason. There's going to need to be some sort of long-term scenario here, isn't there, where... I don't know, I, I could see like the voice recognition and maybe body and face recognition will improve over the years. I forgot to mention this before, there is sort of a hole here for the microphone for front facing. There's two at the top there and there's one behind. I don't know if that's one microphone in there that's doing all of that, or if there's like four separate mics. But it seems like that, that the Alexa is actually following the voice on there. So if I come around here, is she going to follow me around? No. No. The quality of the screen, uh, actually you can see in some of the writing there, there's there some pixelation. So it's not the best quality. There's actually no, uh, no writing of pixels on there. So that's kind of a, a cool device to have around the house. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a, just a novel thing, if it's, it is the first generation of its kind in terms of the articulation that it does. Um, will that improve with more firmware? Will that improve with, more, with, with later devices? We don't know. Uh, this is, at the moment is $239.99 at the moment on Amazon. That is UK money. Uh, I don't know what it is in dollars. I think it's a cool device. Um, would I have it in my household? I probably would. Th th there is sort of some pic pixelation on some of the, the, the screen here that you can see. Realistically, you're probably gonna be standing up doing other things while you're watching it. So you're probably not gonna notice that. The, I think the human eye only has about 720p uh, resolution so anything more than that we, we it's just kind of a bonus really it's a cool device i think the swivel might turn out to be a novelty um we don't know how long that's gonna last either maybe if we have it in a corner somewhere where it's only got like a you know a 90 degree maximum or maybe even 180 degree maximum sort of swivel point that would make the motor last a lot longer um the, it feels it feels premium feels feels like quality materials I, I'm a little bit disappointed with the fact that they 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 say it's 99% or that, that they have all this renewable uh, materials put into it but then they add stupid stuff like that 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 bit of paper like they don't need that they could have add that in in the book maybe or you know given us a QR code that we could scan and, and read the information from there. Who needs paper anymore? Um, the articulation on up and down is manual, but it, it's quite nice. It's, it, it's got a firm feel to it. It doesn't feel clunky or too loose. So what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. And if you like more of these videos, please let us know and we'll, we'll see what we have in the future. This video was brought to you by Audible and for all new customers that sign up, you will get three months for just 99 pence and you will get one credit each month towards a new audiobook of your choice, regardless of price or length. And if you decide to cancel, you get to keep that book. Links will be down in the description. Check it out. Uh, please leave a like, consider subscribing. It helps us out a lot. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.